057-2020, consider award of the 2020 Pavement Maintenance Program Contract AD Young Club Paving Inc. in the amount of $387,413.75. This is the annual PennDOT Liquid Fuel Funded Paving Project. Work will be completed on portions of Cleaner, County Line, and Wilson Avenue. I have a motion. Or do you want to? Sure. Yeah, this is, as you said in the motion, this is our annual liquid fuels program. Uh, this will take care of Clear Road from Fawn Lane to 27 Clear Road, County Line Road from Morgan Road to County Line, 214 County Line Road, and Wilson Avenue from East Bishop to Bishop Lake. We recommend awarding it to Young Blood Paving in the amount of $387,413.75. I'll just emphasize that uh, there were uh, a total of eight bids that were received. They ranged in price from about $451,000 down to a price of $387,000 as a low bid. Uh, this is the advantage of getting the uh, road program out early so you get good prices and get on the schedule. So good, good, uh, good results from the bids. Awesome. Do I have a quick question for uh, Dan and Joe? Did we use that, you know, that CMU company that we hired to drive over all the roads and evaluate the roads and give us Robotics, a, yeah. yeah. What's the name? Robotics. Robotics. We didn't use that for this evaluation this year. Bill and I got together and selected the roads to be included in the issue of the program. Right. I would find it probably wise if the board would agree that we should be using that. And let's, uh, let's make the changes that we're going to be doing these roads but it should be a template that we're using. Would you agree? That, that uh, subscription is currently up right now, so I think the uh, board has to make a decision whether they want to move forward with another year of that uh, subscription to that service. Do you think, did you think it was worthwhile? <coughs> Which is why you didn't use it in the selection. Did we, did we at least get a printout of all the roads that they were prioritized on when they should be done? We have not for, for uh, they, lunch, they, no. They don't, all they, all they do, Eric, it was, a very, it was a very inexpensive way to actually document the conditions of your road at a point in time. So they went out and took photos of the roads, and they did a very rudimentary uh, numbering system of the roads from one to five, and they really did, they don't prioritize budgets or anything else like that. They just give you a, a very, it, it's a tool. We can still use that as a tool if cross-check it versus that, but, but a guy like Bill who knows the roads uh, is there every day, gets the complaints. It's still, I, I still think that's a, that's a good way to, to, to evaluate it. But, you know, we, if you wanted to continue with the subscription, all, all it does is really give you, it gives you more information, that's all it does. Well, if it, gave a, if it gave a scoring system on all the roads, the idea is that we should have all the roads put under a system and know that, hey, we just did this road, it's going to be done again in 15, 20 years down the road. It just makes certain that we have all the roads identified, and by all means, we could move those that get worse, we could move them up on the list, or or shift those back. But we, have, we have that data uh, from uh, our annual uh, maintenance program and also for our in-house program. We have all of, all of that information, when it was done, what, what was done to the road. Uh, as far as the condition of the road, that's, that's something that that program can't do is evaluate uh, the condition and give a fair assessment of, or predict uh, how close that road is to failure. Um, these three roads on this particular uh, contract right here, um, I would uh, I would venture a guess that probably within the next uh, six months or so, we'll have a wave of complaints coming in. Uh, of course, County Line Road, we know the condition of that road. Um, and uh, Clinger Road uh, is a major access into uh, South Point. It's the remaining section of Clinger Road that uh, hasn't been touched yet. Um, we worked very diligently last year to upgrade and improve uh, the drainage over there. Uh, my foreman, Mark, had a crew out there for uh, a couple of months last year putting all the drainage on that road. Um, and that's one of the things that that program does not evaluate, is that type of work there. Uh, the need for drainage in, 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 in uh, bank stabilization. So, I mean, I personally don't think it's worth the money to pay for it. 
I really don't, especially when we have the empirical data uh, available to you us to tell us exactly when the road was done, when and what was done to that road. Do you know what the cost is for the renewal? I, I believe it's sixty five hundred dollars. I agree with Bill. Um, the uh, field conditions that your road is going to pri prioritize and tell you what needs fixed. And I have full confidence in those two gentlemen sitting there, Bill and Joe, with over 80 years of um, paving experience, that uh, they do a terrific job. I'm not, I'm not questioning that. I just think that all roads need to be addressed and have it listed in one place. So maybe I just visit with you and just see that that you were talking about. We, we continue to, to shift roads around, knock them off the past couple of years. They're on that priority okay. list and just don't have all those monies. So. I think uh, Bill does a great job in evaluating what he's done. Am I wrong? I think the issue is there's not, you don't pave a road and then it lasts no matter what for 10 years or 15 years or 20 years. You have to be able to look at a road because it may need work five years from now or it may need work 12 years from now. So it's hard to set a specific time frame for a road after it's been paved that it's definitely going to last. Well, I understand that. Time. It used to be 20 years if you get out of a room, but now it's not even blacktop, it's gray. So we might only get 15, 12, 15. If we were getting five years, I'd want to know that statistic too, though. If we're only getting five years out of spending 172 or 300 thousand dollars on a road, you need to know that. I mean, I think that's a conversation you can easily have offline with Bill. I will, thank you. Thank you. Um... So did you vote on 057 Motion and second. There's a motion and second. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Passes 5-0. 2020 consider award of the 2020 pavement maintenance program contract fee to Young Blood Paving in the amount of $172,705.75. This is the annual township capital budget funded paving project. Work will be completed on a portion of Clifford Road and Lennon P. Lane. As, as the motion says, it's uh, for Clifford Road and Lennon P. Lane. We're doing some drainage improvements along Lennon P. Lane uh, where it intersects with Swinehart. And uh, we want to get those done to uh, alleviate the water from. So uh, make the recommendation that the project be awarded to Young Club Pay in the amount of $172,705.75. All those in favor, may I have a motion? So Second. All those in favor, signify by saying aye. Aye. Passes 5 0. 059 2020, consider award of the 2020 pavement maintenance program contract C to Russell Standard Corporation in the amount of $73,594. This is the fiber reinforced seal coat project that will be for, the, for technology drive from South Point Drive to Hill Point Drive and Virginia Lane from Anger. To, to the cul-de-sac. Yeah, as the motion states, that pretty much summarizes the, the scope of work for the two roads that we're uh, completing. We've uh, used this process in the past with, with great success and uh, continue recommended to use it. So we recommend your work with also standard in amount of $73,594.00. And this is the philosophy of extending the life of good roads that you have. So if you spend money on, on treatments like this, uh, you're going to get much further life out of the road. So it's, it's, a, it's a great process. It's, it's good to stay ahead of things. So I'll just uh, comment on fiber reinforced silk coat. This is a, uh, a, a uh, high performance uh, uh, product that uh, acts as a crack suppressant. Uh, we, we used it in, uh, with great success up in South Point on our high ABT roads. And uh, this will be the fourth or fifth year that we've used this process. Uh, technology Drive uh, from Hill Point down to Technology, uh, down to South Point is now ready to accept that type of service. The substrate is good. Uh, we've done extensive, extensive crack sealing over the years. We'll make one more run through there this year with that crack co uh, sealant. And then uh, in addition to that, um, over the past uh, uh, summer and the summer before that, we've, been, we've replaced all of the Type C concrete inlet uh, frames and rebuilt the inlet boxes out there. So that road is now ready for a, a preservation silt coat to extend the life of that thing. Thank you. Do I have a motion? Second. Second. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 
process wise enough. 060 2020, consider award of the 2020 pavement maintenance program contract DD on blood paving in the amount of $119,526. This is a single seal coat contract for Swihart and Kelso Roads. Again, the motion pretty much summarizes the scope of work, and this is again maintenance work to extend the life of the roads. We recommend it be part of the award to Young Blood Paving in the amount of $119,526. That motion? So moved. Got a second. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 No. Passes 4 1. 061 2020, consider award of the 2020 payment maintenance program contract E to parking lot painting in the amount of $68,796.25. This is line striping and, pave, and paving markings contract for various roads in the township in the South Point Development, O'Hare Road, and Mulaney Road. Yeah, this is the, for the line striping in South Point, uh, including South Point Boulevard, uh, Consul Drive, Town Center Boulevard, Town Center Way, Corporate Drive, and also a hair road from Route 980 to East Bishop and Mulwaney Road from Village Run Road to McConnell Road. We recommend that the project be awarded to parking lot paying the amount of $68,796.25. Okay. 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 Can, we, can we eliminate a hair in Mulwaney? The roads aren't wide enough. You're going to end up with eight foot lanes. I think I brought up maybe two months ago that I had a lot of residential complaints from up in Mayfair Meadows and people that, that traveled night from Candisburg through that area and there's not sufficient lighting and they're looking for some type of a guideline if lights are in your eyes from a car coming the opposite way there just needs something to help guide them with the uh, topography that road up and down around men's but I, I feel it's needed. Can't we get some more lights put up? Can't we let them, sir? Put more street lights up. I thought that would be a lot less. It's cheaper to line strip. Huh? It's cheaper to line strip. Put lights up. I said it's cheaper to line strip. Oh, yeah, strip. yeah, that's what I said. I thought you said it's cheaper than line strip. The paint hasn't cut the beans and the glass beads in it, so I mean, it's. How much of lights would be there forever? Yeah, no. Yeah, no. Is it so. Do I have a second? Second. All those in favor signify by saying aye. Uh, no. Those here. Passes 4 2020 consider the resignation of Jim, Jim Machaco from the Cecil Township Parks and Recreation Board. Do I have a motion? I have a motion. Do I have a second? Second. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Passes 5 0. 